searching for music for your next video. Uh, got to go. Good morning, chat. How are we doing today? What's up? Good morning, everyone. We're just getting everything set up here. We're getting ready. How's everybody doing today? Let's go. Good morning, beautiful people. I don't know my T command won't work, but whatever. You'll grind some more dragons. Yo, Phil. Thanks for being the first, bud. How are we doing this morning? Keller coming in. What's going on, guys? Good morning. Phil Flexen, he's already got those noties. Thanks, Phil. You're the best, Diff. Good morning, sir. How are you today? How are you? How are you this morning, Diff? Woke up so you can't complain. I love that. I'm just trying to wake up myself, man. I am tired. I was sleeping so good. There's a problem. I was sleeping so good, bro. You ever have those sleeps that you're just knocked out to the world? And when you wake up, you're still so tired because you're sleeping so good. You ever have that? Absolutely. Hell yeah, bro. Better stretch it out. We're trying to get the coffee in us. We're trying to get the coffee going. So we can wake up. Corrupt gaming coming in. So we off to fight dragons today. Yeah. The uh, red dragons are taking us forever to get the thousand that we want, man. It's taking forever. Next week we're going to start questing in here. So I'm excited for that. Good morning, Corrupt. How are you? We are off to fight some dragons, jump in some great conversation today. Crap coming with the devil and the share. Thanks, Tim. Holy shit. Stay away from that, dude. What Imagine that. Thanks for the share, bro. I appreciate it. Guys, today's question of the day. And I thought of it from Keller yesterday, so I wanted to hear more from everybody today. What's the best advice you've ever been given? And why? I'm gonna call you Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer Ramek. What's the best advice you've ever been given, guys? I wanna hear it. Stopping in to show some love before my stream? Yo, Corrupt, thank you so much, bro. I appreciate you. Anthony Daniel coming in with a like. What's up, Anthony? Guys, what is the best advice that you've ever been given? That's what I want to discuss today. I want to hear the best advice everybody's ever heard. That really resounded with their personal life. Don't stress out. About all the things that you have no control over. I like that. You can't control everything in your life. So don't stress about it. Yeah, Anthony. Good morning, Haley. Haley, today we're asking everybody, what's the best advice you've ever heard? Imagine that. Thanks for coming in with the like and share, Haley. Lee Leon FB. Oh, shit. 
shit already? What the fuck? I like that. It's kind of the same as don't sweat the little things. Good morning. That make sure you disconnect from work when you're home. Yo, guys. Phil, that reminds me of an amazing story. It's not my story, but it's a story that I've heard. And I think that it's amazing. Creating your first video? You should start with the music. Go to Artlist. Let me switch this up, and I want to talk about that. I'm driving y'all, okay? I'm gonna get to it, Diff, I'm gonna get to it. Uh, let me read a few of these. Do never worry about what someone else is doing or how much success they have. It will never help you to worry about someone else's success and fret over why you aren't succeeding. If you wish to exceed, you need to worry about yourself and grind. Success is never given, it's 100% earned. Fuck yeah, bro, worry about you. I love that. Drop my kiddo off at daycare. Okay. Drive safe, drive safe, drive safe. So Diff, <clears throat> on that note, I heard this amazing story once. Um, a guy worked with his friends. I'm not gonna give out any names. Guy worked with his friend. And they, they carpooled together. And every day when he dropped off his buddy, he would take notice that he'd walk up to his house and he had this big oak tree in his yard. And he'd walk up and he'd touch that oak tree and then he'd greet his family and he'd go inside, right? Every single day, drop him off, go over, touch the oak tree and go inside. On one particular day, his friend had a, a bad day at work. You could see it. He had an attitude on the way home. He wasn't talking. He had anger in his face. He wasn't answering many questions. If he did, they were short. He was just mad the whole way home, right? You could see that he was just upset about how the day unfolded for him. But as he dropped him off, he got out of the car still full of anger he walked over and he touched that oak tree <clears throat> as he got home his family came out to greet him and next thing he had the biggest smile on his face and he greeted his family with warm arms he's out there and he's laughing with his family and his buddy was so confused just because of the drive home that they just had you know, his buddy was so short, so mad, so angry. And not at him. He didn't do anything wrong. So the next day he had to ask. He goes, man, what, what's going on? What's, what was with yesterday? And what's with that oak tree? Why, why do you go up and touch that every day? And they told him that I have to have a way to separate work and life. Because when I get stressed out at work, my family doesn't deserve that. I don't deserve that. I don't deserve to hold on to any of my day's frustrations. My children don't need that. My wife doesn't need that. Nobody needs that. And so he says that every day when he goes home, he goes and he hangs his problems there on that oak tree. That way he can just pick them up the next day. And he said it's just a small way that he can mentally let himself know that that's where he's putting his problems. He doesn't need to hang on to those. He doesn't need to bring his stress home. And so that really, your uh, answer there, Diff, really made me think of that story. I think that's an amazing thing to keep um, your frustration separate and away from your family. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Bill. Said, I'm not love, but hello. Wise man, for sure. For sure, I think that was an amazing little story and what a small gesture just to um, mentally prepare himself just to you know 
be ready for his family, be loving, be warm, and to not carry stress over. I love the way you phrase that, Phil. So what is your oak tree? Doc Shop Cleaning coming in with a like on the stream and becoming a brand new follower. What's up, Doc Shop? Thank you so much. What is my oak You're tree? You're awesome! You know, thankfully, I have a, uh, a long carpool home. Or not carpool. I don't carpool. I have a, a, a long drive home. So I commute to work every day. I live in a smaller town. Um, but I work in a city. So I kind of just vibe out and listen to music. And as I go, I just, you know, let the problems fly out the window. I don't want to pick them up the next day either. For me, they're gone. Tomorrow's a new day. When I get home, it's a new time. And so I really try not to carry those frustrations ever. What are you, Phil? What's your oak tree, bro? Yo, everybody, today we're asking, what's the best advice you've ever been given? What's your oak tree, Phil? Do you have one? Bill says his oak tree is the ganja. <laughs> he burns it away. Oh shit, that shit's refreshing. I think the best advice I was given is that every day is an interview. Every day. You never know who you're going to meet. You never know who's watching you. You never know what's going to happen. So treat every day like an interview. Mind your P's and Q's. Dress up for success. Be clean. Be presentable. Um... Work hard always. You never know. Interact with kindness every day is an interview. Phil says, my oak tree is, I would say, B. So yours is also driving. It's always calm me down. Driving has always reset me and my mindset. It's for a lot of people. Um, so uh, I said the drive home, um, but I actually hate driving. I hate driving. I do it every day. And I don't think it's the drive that calms me more, it's the time. It says, my daughter actually didn't cry when I dropped her off. On my way home now, so have you on my speakers. Yo, congrats, man. Growing up. I love to drive. So many people do. So many people do. It's not my thing. Hey, it says, my outro is music. Music is my go-to when I have a bad day. Yo, I love positive music. I love to, um, music that's uplifting. So I don't listen to a lot of music with, like, anger. Or things like that. I don't know. It's just not my vibe. But hell yeah, music, man. Al Shakito coming in with like on the stream. He says, how you doing, bro? Hope you have a great day. Yo, bro, I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for coming in, man. Coming in. Al Shakito, before you run away, we're asking everybody, what's the best advice you've ever been given, bro? Let us know yours. What's the best advice? R&B is my jam. Hell yeah, man. Get some 90s R&B going. Fuck yeah, dude, I'm going through this coffee this morning. God damn, I'm tired. Hey, you're awesome. Bum, bum, bum.
What about you, Lady Ramakite in the back there? What's the best advice you've ever been given? Share with the chat. We'd love to hear more on this. I want to hear everybody's best advice, man. Like something that has truly changed you in some way. Bum, bum. Whew. Chat, we are tired today. Sixty-nine, that's beautiful. Best advice has to be to marry ceramic. <laughs> Guys, don't tell her that shit. I'm the one who got lucky here. Let's be honest. I'm the one that got lucky. Lady Ramek is amazing. So I just had to put my bank pin in. Can't put that on stream. 668, we're getting there. So I gotta run and get more coffee quick. Holy shoot. I'm gonna read back up on the comments when I come back, guys. I'll be back. Let us know, let us know. What's the best advice you've been given, ever? Coffee run! Hello, Stuart. Hello, Stuart. How are you today? Thanks so much for stopping in, bro. Stuart, what's the best advice you've ever been given? Lady must have got pulled away by work, guys. I want to hear everybody's best advice today. Ali Garman coming up to like You're awesome. Thanks, Ali. Good morning to you. Ali flexing that followage. Good morning, Ali. Thanks so much. You're amazing. Ali, what about you, Ali? What's the best advice you have ever been given? Stuart says, I'm okay. Give me a moment to think. Hell yeah, bro. Think it over. Think it over. Ali says, go with your gut instinct. Yo, that's so true. And many times that's easier said than done, especially uh, when you're overthinking something. Or sometimes your heart can get in the way. It's a lot easier said than done. Hell yeah. Ashikido says, I don't know who gave me this advice or where I read it from, but I'd say it is to treat others the way you want to be treated. Rao Shikido, I've always liked that. I think I like the point of that. Um, I always like to go further, though. And, you know, just... Even how you want to be treated by somebody. Just tr always treat people with kindness, man. For sure. Which, of course, most of the time you want to be treated with kindness. So that's how you're going to treat others. But 
Hell yeah, man. I love that. It's an oldie but a goodie. Especially when it comes to relationships. You know, anything. Anything. Just follow that gut. Your gut's going to tell you when you're in danger. Your gut's going to tell you when something's bad for you. And most of the time, I don't know. I don't even... It's like some sort of energy and power pulling you to the right place. For sure. Full deck good. Lyle, you sexy, you sexy man, you. How we doing today, bro? Welcome to the stream, bro. Wow, coming up with the like, the double share. Let's get this next song playing. Imagine that. It's getting your head to listen to your gut, though. That's the problem. Fuck yeah, it is. Izzy coming in with a like on the stream. Good morning, Izzy. Lal, Izzy, today we're asking what is the best advice you've ever been given? So far we're hearing uh, lots of oldies but goodies. But I agree, man. Getting your head to listen to your gut, that is a problem sometimes. Sometimes you like to think through things a lot and the, uh, the problem's not that hard. It's not that hard. The situation isn't that deep sometimes. Just go with it. Izzy, I hope you're doing well too, bro. Thank you so much. 20 Bomb Benny coming with a like. Girl Mom coming with a like. What's going on, guys? Ali coming in with the big tag bomb. I appreciate you. <coughs> Golly. Come you're awesome! Says, Let's fucking go! 20 Bomb with the share. Thanks, guys. Another good bit of advice I've been given, kind of a little deeper, was to never keep people who don't add value to your life. You know, that's a big one, bro. That's a big one, and that one can be so hard to do. But you're right. If they're not adding value to your life, what are they doing there? If they're not adding value, it means that they're adding hardship. And by cutting them from your life, that means that they're going to add uh, some sort of lesson, something to learn from, right? I think that one's absolutely big. Don't carry on dead weight and extra frustrations in your life. Don't carry on somebody just because you feel some sort of previous made attachment. If they're not adding value, that one's so hard to do and follow though, bro. It really is. But I love it. You're awesome! Your mom says, I'm stuck at work. But trying to get stuff for my coast stream today. Yo, I hope you have an amazing stream today. Thanks so much for stopping in while while you're waiting for that. While you're stuck at work. I appreciate you. We got Sean coming in with the like on the stream and the share. We got Gabriel De La Rosa coming in. What's going on, guys? Yo, what's up? Lyle said, good morning. Just Imagine got hit with that. spam for sharing your stream. Oh, no. Bro, I'm sorry. Showing too much love, bro. Girl mom said, I can comment on this, but I'll stay quiet. No, girl mom, we love discussion here. And we do not judge each other here. If you have, like, especially if you have an alternate opinion to something somebody says, we're not here to um, judge anybody. You're we're awesome. definitely open to discussions around alternate opinions. That's what we're all about here. So definitely don't be afraid to give... Any sort of alternate opinion. Brad Kidd coming with a like on the stream. What's up, guys? 20 Bob said, facts here. Fuck yeah, bro. Sean said, big chillin', bro. It's my birthday. Pretty buzzed. You're pretty buzzed. Where are you at in the world, man? It's 8.45 in the morning where I'm at. But happy birthday to you, bro. You're awesome! Haley says, best advice I've ever been given. Don't do to others what you don't want done to you. Karma's a bitch. Karma is a full-on bitch. For sure. Guys, today we're asking what's the best advice you've ever been given and why. Lyle said, Facebook is so BS. I wish I could make a better streaming platform. I mean, Lyle. All you need is about $1.3 trillion to hire the staff, purchase the technology, purchase server space. Pretty simple, bro. Come on, man. Just do it. Mr. JB coming in with a like on the stream. Y'all crazy. Sean says, I'm in Washington, bro. This is going to be 7 a.m. So did you just stay You're up all awesome. night for this then? And that's, or are you just drinking right away? Foddy, good morning, Foddy. Thanks so much for coming in with the like. 
I said, oh, I'm not afraid of giving an alternate opinion. But if I open that can of worms now, it's just better not to say anything. Okay, I got you. I'm not going to pressure you. I'm not going to pressure you. Stuart says, never make someone choose. Hey, it's me or them. If someone was to make me choose, then they would lose. Because if they close, if they are close to you and they love you, they would never make you choose. That's for my mom. May she rest peacefully. Yo, my condolences. I agree with that. Never make someone choose. I think if you're to the point that you have to make somebody choose, you should probably just walk away yourself, right? Bunny! Hello, Bunny! Thanks so much for coming in. Bunny liked the stream. Bunny says, Allie, happy birthday. It's Allie's birthday as well. What? It's Sean's birthday. I'm so confused. All right, Bunny says, playing Phasmo while watching it right now. What's Phasmo? Stu. I said, yes, your mom's a smart lady. Hola, como estas, Gabriel? Allie's birthday's on Saturday. Well, happy early birthday, Allie. Sorry, I was losing signal. I just made it home. I'm glad you made it safe. I have houses to go clean this morning, so I won't be here too long. Yo, that's okay. You'll go get your grind on. Go chase your paper. Thanks so much for dropping in. Ali Garmin says, no, my, no, my birthday is Saturday. Um, but you're celebrating it today on your co-stream. Okay. Who's your co-stream with, Ali? Look at all the happy birthday chants. He says, I gotta go make this money. Get it. Get it, get it, get it. Chat, somebody throw a question in chat. Hey, Bunny, thanks so much for the share. Did you read my best advice? I wasn't in here if you did. I did read your best advice. I did. I did, I did. I appreciate it. Guys, somebody throw a QA in chat. Let's let's get a conversation going. Funny, how you feeling this morning, bro? It's okay, just making sure. My phone was going nutties. But I said I'll be back later. Gonna go check on my grandmother today. Yo, go spend some time with your grandmother. Build a relationship, man. Hope you have an amazing stream, bro. I hope you have an amazing day. Much love out to you, Fadi. Appreciate it, man. Bunny, what's Phasma? Allie! Fun fact, you're awesome. That's not a fun fact, Allie. Allie, let's get our fun fact of the day going. Lady Ramick still hiding in the background being a lurker. Yo, Kyle Nunley coming with a like on the stream. What's goody good, Kyle? I appreciate you, bro. Sean says facts. It's all love today, guys. Let's get it. That's an awesome fact. <laughs> there we go. Allie, best mod in the world, guys. She says, fun fact, the blue whale is the largest animal. We already knew that, Allie. We knew that. It's like the size of like eight buses or something like that. Sorry, I'm at work. It's okay. Keep lurking. Hey, it says, if you could live anywhere, where would it be and why? I think I'd want some sort of 
island somewhere, but I don't want to be shut off from, like, modern-day technologies and stuff. So it's got to be some sort of island that has, like, establishments on it. Um, I don't know, maybe the Cayman Islands or something? Nice, warm, peaceful, beautiful, beautiful scenery. Get outside of the snow from Minnesota. What about everybody else? If you could live anywhere, where and why? Oh, nice. Still going on the advice, too. Stuart coming up with the tag bomb. Lyle says, one of the best pieces of advice is that your worth is only what they can get out of you. Majority of people only want you around as long as you have something to offer them. I think that's true. Um, man, that's kind of the exact opposite piece of the advice of earlier where cut out people in your life who don't bring you value. And, you know, worth can mean so much more. It doesn't have to be monetary. It doesn't have to be physical. Worth can just be friendship, and that's a worth to them. Worth can just be that you're a person who brings love and positivity to them, and that's a worth to them. And that's an amazing thing to be able to share. But be careful what they're trying to get out of you. So I agree with that. It's a ghost hunting game. Okay. Alex says, me too. She's stuck at work. Trying to get pumped up for her co-stream. Ali, who is your co-stream with? Stuart says, thanks for being here. Don't forget to hit the notify, react, share, tag some friends. Come hang out with us. It's all free. Bro, that's goaded. I'd live in a country where there's no freaking snow. Yo, that's why I was picking there an island. There we go. Yo, Michael, Bleece coming in, becoming a brand new follower, and then dropping the like on the stream. What's up, bro? I would want to live somewhere with no freaking snow, too. Guys, I'm so sick of the snow this winter. My work's starting soon at 7 p.m. Oh, no. You're awesome. Good morning for me. Not sure of the time for the Philippines. It is good morning for me as well. Fun fact, scientists have discovered that the Greenland shark can live for up to 500 years. This means there's a shark swimming today that was potentially alive when the pilgrims settled Jamestown. What the f- That one can get pinned. That's a fun fact. Oh, Ali already pinned it. Ali, you're the goat. Fun fact, broccoli was created from the mustard plant. And the Romans created. Yo, humans have created so many, like, of the plants. It's crazy. Okay. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, guys, I stopped my music. Sorry about that. Stuart says to Phil, hello, handsome. Ali says, I need some people who don't give that fake ass love. Yo, fuck yes. Find people that um, are genuine to you. Find people that care for you. And that you guys can share in that. Don't find people that bring stress or any sort of fakeness to your life. That's kind of the point of those are the people that want something from you. And that's when the gut comes into play. And you're going to have to really follow your instinct on who to cherish in your life. He said, I would love to live somewhere in a country with lots of land. Maybe somewhere in the mountains. Probably Colorado. So I can open up a dispensary. Okay. I, th You know, I love the United States. I think that I would, uh, I don't know if I'd stay. I'd stay a citizen. Maybe I would. I, I don't know. Gosh, it's so hard. Michael coming in with the noti. I appreciate you, bro. My co-stream is with Queen Regertha Gaming. Yo, that's awesome. I hope you guys have a blast. What time um, is that and then what time zone? Michael, come in and flex. She's a brand new follower. Is I think that's Michelle, not Michael. I'm sorry. I'm a fucking idiot. Thanks so much. Fadi said goodbye. Yo, Fadi, have a great time with your grandma, bro. Take care, man. Michelle said I was summoned. Yo, thanks so much for coming in. Fun fact, Blue Whale creams 55 gallons of Mr. Nasty Time. <laughs> Bro. 
She said, that's not Michael. That's Michelle. Guys, that's why, um... That's why I oversee collections. I'm great at seeing a name on a split second and saying it, right? <laughs> God damn. Uh, loving all the new followers this morning. For sure, man. Definitely Michelle, female. I'm sorry, Michelle. It never snows where I live. Yo, Gabriel, where do you live, bro? Oh my gosh, we've had just feet of it. I'm telling you, it's getting hard. Like, it's piled up higher than your cars at this point. It's hard to see cars that are coming down the road. Oh my gosh, I'm getting tired of it. I said I got to go now, sir. Going shopping. Have a great rest of your stream. Yo, enjoy your shopping. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. Lady Ram says, I got your back. She'll smack me into shape, Michelle. She'll smack me into shape. I said, so you're saying I should move to Texas? Texas can get some snow. They're right there by the ocean. They get snow like a couple times. Have a good stream. We're saying goodbye. Honestly, I'd love to have a house or property anywhere. Take my private jet to different places. <laughs> Fuck yes. I said, so funny Imagine thing is. Imagine that. Every time you call someone a dork. You call them a penis because in the dictionary, that's the definition of a dork in North America as vulgar slang. That is the best information I think I've ever fucking received. Thank you so much. Yo, Matt Pearlton coming in with the like on the stream. Phil coming in with the absolute share bomb. Thank you so much, bro. My golly gosh, you guys are amazing this morning. Hey, so that's gross. Yo, that's amazing. <laughs> Gabriel must be in Texas. Phil with the tag bomb as well. Yo, that's the big facts we needed, isn't it, Lyle? That's the facts we need in our life. Dork is penis. Oh my gosh, I'm actually in love with that one. That one, I'm gonna have so much fun with it. I die when my kids call each other a dork. <laughs> Yo, Ronan coming up to love on the stream. What's up, Ronan? He says, I've seen so twice in the last 15 years that I've been in Texas. Dang. If Texas gets snow, people die. They do shut everything down. Um, one of the call centers that I used to be affiliated with, uh, they had one in Texas. And I remember that they got like, it was the smallest little fucking dusting of snow and they got to shut down over there. And I was so confused. So with that coach, I'm a bounce. You're awesome. Um, have to get something rolling here. Yo, Phil, I hope you have an amazing day. Be productive, be positive, and be you, bro. I appreciate you coming in. Ronan says, jumping in with the love real quick during my break. Yo, thanks so much, Ronan. I hope your stream continues to go amazing. You're a beast, bro. Texas goes crazy when it gets snow here. Texas goes crazy with a dusting, for sure. With, with a crop dusting. It is nuts. Which I love that. Uh, it's mostly because you guys don't have the equipment to deal with that sort of snow. Ali says, I have family in Hawaii and Florida. I'd be okay with those places. You know what? Those aren't bad choices. I would go Hawaii. I feel Florida's a big retirement community or it's um, a big college community. It's like one or the other and it's hard to find a place that's anything in between. Two years ago, we got eight inches and everything was shut down. Alex says, I remember that. Jessica says, I'm a new girl here. Yo, Jessica, thanks so much for coming with the like on the stream. Welcome. Welcome so much to the channel. We love to have you here. Today, we're discussing lots of different things. Right now, we're discussing if you could live anywhere, where would it be and why? As well as we've asked everybody today, what is the best advice you've ever been given? And we'd love to hear from you being a new follower, Jessica. Thanks so much for coming in. He said it was cold in Florida this past weekend. What's cold? What's cold? Yo, thanks so much for showing Jessica love, Haley. Well, their cold is the not the same as Pennsylvania cold, and Pennsylvania cold is not the same as Minnesota cold, okay? So what is cold? I'm from Australia. I think Australia is the craziest place in the planet, and I love y'all. Because y'all have cute kangaroos. But everything else about you guys is scary. 
that's amazing. 30, 40, 34 degrees, that's, that's short and sweater. Lady says, goodbye, Phil. Hope you have an amazing day. She said, yes. Yes. So if you could live anywhere, Jessica, where would it be? Would you stay in Australia? My two best guy friends, one lives in Montana and the other lives in Maine. Maine's not a bad place. Jessica says, thank you. Look at her coming in here with manners. Tegan, there we go. Coming in with love on the stream. Thank you so much, Tegan. Maine gets cold. Maine doesn't get too cold. I wore a dress in that weather. And, oh, and god damn it was too cold. Yeah, I could see that. Haven't snow since 1980 fucking five. I haven't had snow since, you know, 985 last night. I know 985 is not time, guys. Nobody nobody throw that in the comments. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yo, Tegan coming with the notify becoming a brand new follower. I appreciate it, Tegan. Coming in for Corrupt Gaming. We've been playing lately. Yo, Tegan, Corrupt Gaming's a GOAT. He's amazing. As a matter of fact, I have a co-stream with him coming up here on this coming Sunday. And I'm pretty excited for it. I'm pretty excited for it, man. We're going to be playing the old Fortnite. We're going to be playing the old 14. 985, what? Haley, we just talked about this. <laughs> Lasa's fun fact. Methane gas can expand the lungs faster than oxygen during CPR. So technically, a fart can <laughs> resuscitate someone faster than breathing in their mouth, bro. <laughs> Uh, nothing like a fart joke to break it up. Tegan says, play some Fortnite with me and Corrupt sometime. Yo, bro, I'd love to. I'd love to. He says, I had to drive through two miles of whiteout. Fuck yes, dude. I had to drive through like 30 miles of whiteout. Ugh. I'm trying to get started streaming too. Yo. What do you need to get ready? Where are you at in the process? Have you got yourself some equipment? Where are you at? What's what's holding you back, Tegan? Let's talk it through. She said, it's my first time to be here. Brian Blades coming up with a like in the share. What's up, Brian? You said, Haley said, oh no, to Lyle's fun fact. Yo, that's a freaking amazing You're awesome! <laughs> I said, I want to laugh, but as a mom who's had to give her own child CPR, I'm not sure I'd want to attempt that again with a fart. I'm not sure you would, and I'm so sorry that you had to go through that alley. Oh my goodness, that's scary. That's extremely scary. They said, we appreciate you for coming in. Enjoy our great conversations. We like to conquer the world here. I don't know about conquer it, but we like to tackle its problems. For sure. Oh, I said, oh no to Lady, sir. Did Lady, Lady must have had a comment in there that I didn't get to see. Sometimes when, we, when the reply chain goes on for a little bit, it no longer shows me that. Which is lame. Come on, Facebook. Jessica said, I was upset today. Jessica, what's going on? Talk to us. Let's uh, view it through an objective lens, if you're okay talking about it. And um, let's get some positivity splashed at you. Yo, Jessica, much love out to you, chat. Can we get some hearts in the chat for Jessica? She's having a tough day. She's having a tough day, guys. Let's give her some hearts.
Brian Bladestone, Grant, good morning, you amazing human being. Says, you're amazing. Yo, know, Brian is pretty great. But you're the best, daddy. Hey, they said, I'd rather a DNR than fart in my fart to Lyle. What? Did I read that wrong? I said I'd rather a DNR than a fart in my fart. A fart in my fart? I got bullied. I'm struggling with my sister. She passed away and my friend. Oh my gosh, my condolences. I'm so sorry that your sister's passed away. As far as those bullies, um, don't let them get to you. There's Remember that bullies are always experiencing awesome. some sort of hardship themselves. There's got to be some sort of reason for the way that they're lashing out. And you can't let their bad day affect your day. Let them live on with their bad day and you continue. Still treat them with kindness and love. And I'm so sorry that you have to go through that. Turn the other cheek and definitely don't tolerate it. You don't got to... Um, let that stuff carry on with you throughout your day. Imagine that. Remember, you have people surrounded with you and people that love you, especially during this time of trying to work through your sister, which is hard. I'm so sorry. Disco Choi coming at the like and the share saying, sheesh. Mouth. Oh, rather than fart in your mouth. Yeah, I should have figured that one out. I mean, though, I would like to talk about a farting in your fart. Like, we double farting up in here? How does that work? Granathor says, hey, BB. Thank you, everyone, for being so nice to me. I don't have everyone, anyone to talk to. Yo, come talk to us in here. Oh. Jessica, remember, you're an individual. You're amazing, and you're awesome. Riss coming in with the heart. What's up, Riss? I appreciate you stopping in. You're awesome! She says, Dad, I gave Granny a free sub to your OnlyFans. How do you give away a free sub and why am I not getting one? That's what I wanna that's what I wanna know, bunny. Why am I not getting a free sub to his OnlyFans? That's what we need to know. For sure. Alex says most bullies are so bored with their own lives that they feel the need to draw attention to other people instead of their own shit. Big facts. Big, big, big facts. Just remember that that's not your weight to carry. You don't have to let somebody else's bad time ruin yours. Thank you. I'm amazing and you're dope. I appreciate you. Brian, you are amazing, bro. Hey, says fucking Siri. Free. Oh, no, you didn't. Um, I still want to talk about where's my free sub to Disco's OnlyFans. Disco, thank you for the share, by the way. I don't think I said thank you for that. I appreciate it. Hey, they said, we love to love here. My inbox is wide open. We do love to love here. 100%. My favorite hiding place. Aw, Riss. Thank you. It's a great place to hide out. Jessica's thinking that over. Risk coming in, flexing the notify, flexing that followage. I had to or else he'll unfriend me. Ain't nobody gonna unfriend you, bunny. Risk, your days of followage will never get better than today. Risk has been following me for 69 days, chat. He said, I wanna free stuff. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. And you're slippery with it. They said, we love you, Riz. I have to go and I don't wanna. Yo, go get that bread today. 
Go get your bread today. Have fun cleaning your home, Saley. I said, keep your head up, girl. It does get better. May not be today. It may not be tomorrow, but it does get better. Remember, tough times never last. Tough people do. Tough times never last. Boop. <clears throat> Disco Choice says, We nerds don't worry about bullies, man. We kill them in the game. Nerds have conquered the world. For sure. Lady says, no, don't leave us, Lily. Lady instigator. I just pitched my head lady in like an alligator costume. Cape on her back that says instigator. Where's the jazz vibes? Sorry. Got you, Riss. Got you, Riss. You guys are all amazing and awesome. I love each and every one of you. You guys are fabulous. Or I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Remember to keep grinding and keep pushing for better every single day. Yes, get out there and chase your dreams. Get out there and do whatever you need to do to make it happen. Success is not going to come unless you make it. We need the music vibes. I got it. I got it. I got it. Let's fucking go. 69. That's what I'm saying. Your followers will never get better than today. I'm getting caught up here, chat. This is my getaway. You're amazing, Haley. <laughs> Still on the line, bunny. <laughs> Hey, this says that she'll be in your evening stream, Lady Ramek. Jessica said, I'm so glad to be here with friends and support me that I didn't have in my life. You're going to get them in your life, though, Jessica. I appreciate you being here, and I love that you can find a safe place to hang out, a place that you're going to get a lot of positive vibes, a lot of support, a lot of advice on how to go through life. It's really what we do here in our morning streams. Um, but just remember that life can get tough, but life always gets easier, and you're going to find those people to support you in your life. It's going to get better. Oh, hey, Lee, so nice. Sir, slacking with the music, imagine. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> not, not after this weekend, I won't, Haley. We're going to send coffee. Jazz vibes and some Sir Ramk in the morning. Yes, please. This has been your host with Sir Ramk in the morning. Welcome to Channel Ramk. <laughs> hey, this is fucking, I'll leave you on my speakers. <laughs> you're, you're the goat, Haley. Jessica said, you're so sweet, like a sister. For sure. Core power helps you recover. See, this is what happens. This is what happens until this weekend. I'm going to get the ads off this weekend. It's going to be absolutely amazing. But I go to mute it from the ads and then I get lost in with you guys. She said, remember, you're awesome. You're amazing. We're hitting the hour mark. This has been great, guys. I can't believe it's been an hour already. Ah, oh, we just hit 700, guys. We're going to get this 1,000. Before we know it. Boop, boop. Sure, blame it on us, Ramek. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Guys, let's get another question, chat. Somebody throw a Q&A out there. Somebody throw a Q&A out there, guys. Channel Ramek sounded like Pornhub channel, not a radio station. Um, it's Ramic, not Ramin. Okay. <laughs> but, um, if you see me Saturday night, we can see where the channel turns, if you know what I mean. 
<laughs> you like that one? <laughs> Sheesh! You need a podcast? It's kind of what this morning stream is turning into. Nobody really watches the game, which is okay. Um, I don't really need anybody to watch the game. Well, I love RuneScape. Um, that's not really what the morning stream is about. It's just kind of there. It's just kind of there. Jessica said, we are beautiful. Thank you for making me smile. Oh, you deserve a smile in your day. Everybody deserves a smile in their day. Everybody deserves a big smile. Chad, we got a few people in here that weren't in here the other day. The other day, Haley asked an amazing question of, if you could change one thing about the world, what would you change? So for anybody who hasn't had the chance to answer that yet, what are your thoughts? You could change one thing about the world. It's like a magic fucking wish, but you can't use it for yourself, right? And it has to be on a broad scale changing something about the world. What would you change? And why would you change that? Grant said, it's going to get dirty in there. Like Lady Ram says, I'm spicy. Well, I don't know what you are, but I'm down to give it a taste. <laughs> Haley says, you're very welcome. Smile through all the bullshit. I promise it'll make life easier. Fuck yes. That's the advice we need up in here. Smile through the bullshit. I like spicy. Yo, me too. I love spicy. Hit the wrong button there, guys. Can not tell? Fuck yes. C. Clark Gaming coming with the love in the stream. What's going on, C. Clark? How are you today? How are you today? Scandalously spicy. That's your Saturday stream tag when you go on with us. Grand, you need to do scandalously spicy Saturday. We're going to just keep adding S words as it goes. I'm scatterbrained. Some days are like that, aren't they? I have happy tears. I don't know why. Oh, your sweetheart. Wipe those tears away. What you laughing at, lady? I have a nickname for my stream tonight. Fuck yes you do. With a yes. Grant says yes queen. Nobody read his comment. He put queen in there, okay? He just accidentally erased it. Bam. Ba ba bam. Happy tears are A-OK. -okay. Yeah, you're not going to be the first one or the last one to have happy tears here. You definitely won't be. Grant, you all work today, bro? If so, how's that going, man? Throat goddess and bot action. Don't come at me. <laughs> That's how you kill bots and pro players alike, Haley. That's how you take bots and pro players alike down. Lady says, happy tears are a wonderful thing. You have a beautiful heart. Oh... Look at you guys. Look at you guys. With the smiles. Chad, what has everybody got planned for their day today? What are you doing today? Rissa, that's a hard question because you want something that has a great impact across the world for the better. So Riss, I do believe as well it's a hard question. Um, I answered it and I said I wish that I could force everybody to understand that it's okay to have an alternate opinion to somebody else, rather it be political, rather it be um, professional, rather it be um, religion, no matter what it is. Nobody can hate somebody else for having a different thought or opinion. They would have to, um, it's okay to debate, it's okay to try to convince somebody on why you believe that your opinion and your thought is better, but no more hate, no more hate for it. Through diversity only helps a anything grow. 
Diversity is great for the world. It helps people be better, it helps people do better, it helps countries be better, it helps countries do better. Like there's, you know, everything with diversity. Diversity is great. And you only get one thing to change? Yeah. You get one thing to change. Anything you want to change, though. It could be something simple as, um, I want everybody to have free, easy supply to clean fresh water. You know, but whatever you want. As deep as you want, as big as you want, as small as you want. But you get to change one thing about the world. It could be even as simple as, I want to take global warming away. I just walked out of the house with no car keys. Well, you're not going to get far there. You're not going to get far that way. You're so funny. Work is okay, Grant says. All right, bro. Meet Tackle it. Tackle it, bro. Go fucking get your day. Go fucking get yours. Show up and show out, bro. You're amazing. You got it. You're going to get it, bud. Jessica said it's okay not to be okay. Yes. It is okay not to be okay. But it says, I think hating someone just because they have a different opinion yours is just so immature. But it's such a large thing, isn't it? It's such a large thing in the world today. Hating someone over a, a different opinion, a different thought, a different re religion, a different political view. I mean, over any sort of difference. And, and it's, it's so silly to me. Not everybody can think the same, and you're not always right, and right is all a perception. By skipping the grocery store and cooking a HelloFresh... Man. I normally ignore people who hate my opinion and not even bother to argue. Yeah, I don't know. When I hear somebody who um, has an alternate opinion of me, I try to make an approach to them. Just say, hey, you know, I, I respect that you have an altered opinion. I would love to discuss that. Depending on how much I care about the opinion or even care about the person as well. Um, but I let them know it's okay that you think different than me. And I want you to think that it's okay that I have a different opinion than you. And I want to discuss it. Because I want to get in the mindset of somebody who thinks different than me. Why do they think that it's this way? Why do they think that this is the right thing to do? Why do they think that this is the right path to follow? And I don't. You know, what led them there? I want to understand that. My youngest already said she wants to play Legos, hide and seek, Minecraft, and run, rob, or run. It's going to be a busy hour. <laughs> Let me make mine easy then. Free healthcare. Fuck yeah, we're moving to Canada. Free healthcare. Moving to Canada. I have a question. Ask it away, Jessica. Ask it away. Grant says, what do you think is the most beautiful thing you've ever seen or experienced? I mean, uh, none of y'all ever seen Lady Naked, but, uh, <whistles> no, seriously though, um, You know what? I do always say that. I do always say that, lady, for um, people who don't have a vehicle or something like that. Two feet and a heartbeat will take you anywhere you want to go. Yes. The most beautiful thing I've ever seen experience. Yo, we were on vacation over this last summer. And as we were leaving vacation... As we were leaving vacation, this fucking... Uh, Butterfly came up to um, our family. It landed on our daughter's head. It would land on our finger and fly around. We kept trying to get rid of it. It would fly right back and land on us. It was the prettiest little butterfly. And it just kept coming back and would land right on all of us. It could land on Lady. It could land on my youngest. It would land on me. And we could just hold this thing. And we would try to like gently go move it or even walk away and fly back over to us. I had to walk it out to like the nearby wooded area and get it to go and then run back t to get in the car to leave. I thought that was a pretty beautiful experience to like hold and share with my family. What about you, bro?
Da -da -da -da. But I said, I think the only thing that makes me mad, like mad mad, is when people talk behind my back. You know, I'm a very optimistic, a little, little wow, if I could talk, I'm a very optimistic person and say something to me that'll make me improve or be better. It's much better than talking shit behind my back. Yo, I fucking agree. Uh, criticism is, is good. As long as you portray it as criticism. I think I'm gonna start killing the dragons over here, guys. There's some random coins. There's all these bones that I can just grab. It's pretty sweet. Great answer. Thank you. <laughs> this is, oh my gosh. That's sweet. Yeah, the two feet and a heartbeat thing is a pretty good one. If you see your friend really upset. And you ask them, are you okay? Are them, are you okay if there's anything we can do to help? Are you saying, should you ask them? If they're okay, or if there's anything that they can do to help? I mean, that depends, Jessica. Remember that your friends uh, may have a lot going on in their day too. Nobody's responsible for your happiness but you. Um, it's a hard thing to hear. I understand that. I do think that those are the right kind of friends to have. And if your friends aren't bringing you the sort of value you need and you don't think they're caring for you the way that you want to show care and receive love back, then, you know, maybe find new friends. But remember that no matter who you find, no matter where you go, no matter who you're with, no matter your family, no matter your significant other, no matter your friends, nobody's responsible for your happiness but you. And it's hard and we're definitely here to help support you. And like I said, if that's the kind of friends that you want, find them. Because there are definitely people out there. I would for surely ask my friends what's going on. Are you okay? Is there anything I can do to help you? I, I definitely would. But you also can't put expectations on others in that way, you know? At least that's my opinion. But I said the most beautiful thing I've experienced was giving birth. Like that feeling you thought it'd be your last day of your life and you get to see life coming out of you is just so magical. And I don't know, I can't really describe it. Yo, that's a crazy experience on the man side of it. I always like to explain it to people. Because my view of it is much more comical. I was sitting there and ladies squeezing my hand and just screaming. I'm thinking, oh my gosh. And when this baby comes out, you know, all the stuff that comes out after the baby just shoots out like silly string, dude. Just So uh, my end wasn't as beautiful. But uh, I understand the sentiment. <laughs> it did though, chat. Shout out like fucking silly string. Grant says, facts. I'm so blunt and an honest person. There's nothing I wouldn't say behind your back that I've never said to your face. Facts, facts. Yo, here's that fucking Max guy again. No matter what world I go to, chat. What the fuck? Weird. It's getting weird. Yo, big facts. Big facts. Bum, bum, bum. I come in here and I forget that you're playing a game. Yo, that's okay. I'm kind of playing the game for me and sitting here just chatting with y'all. Although I do love RuneScape. That's okay. Especially right now when I'm just uh, grinding. It'll be easy to forget it when I'm grinding. We'll start questing on it next week a little bit. So it'll add a little bit more of the uh, gameplay into the stream. We'll see how that goes. If not, then I'll just quest my own time and grind with you guys. Bonnie says about Granathor being a... Oh, whoa. That was weird. About uh, him being a direct person. said, I like that because I am the same. Um, like, yeah, it would hurt your feelings, but maybe it's for the better. I normally tell my kids the same. 
Fear if I don't say anything, that means I don't care much about you. Yo, if you have the right circle around you, they're going to criticize you. And the right circle around you should criticize you. They should tell you if you've done something wrong. They should tell you if you should improve in some way. They should tell you when you should be better. If not, then I, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you're not in the right circle, or at least that's how I gain value. Or how I can gain value. I guess it's not the only thing I look for. But your right circle should definitely criticize you if you've done something wrong. Right? They said I told them that yesterday. That people come in here and forget I'm playing a game. That's okay. I can't do anything right, Jessica. Be careful how you talk about yourself. Don't say bad things like that about yourself. That's my best advice to you. Ever. Um, God, I don't know who the hell said this, but uh, words are magic and words have power. That's why when you write down words, it's called spelling because they're magic. Words put out a lot of energy into this world. That's my firm, true belief. So make sure that when you're talking about yourself, you're doing it in the best light. Don't talk negatively about yourself. So you can do things right. You might be in a tough time now, but you know, don't beat yourself up like that. I would say holding rune for the first time. He aggravates the shit out of me at times, but he also brings so much joy. Yo, being a parent is weird like that, right? It, being a parent is simultaneous, like simultaneously the hardest and most stressful and most ridiculous thing that you'll ever do in your entire life. Yet, at the same time, it is the most beautiful and most rewarding thing you'll ever have the opportunity to do in your life. It is crazy. Jessica said, I don't forgive myself. I didn't forgive myself when your sister passed away. I mean, you can't do that to yourself, Jessica. It'll get better, I promise. Something like that will never fully heal, but it'll get better. Yo, Richie Lance, coming up with a like in the stream. Yo, three minutes ago, Richie, I'm so sorry, bro. Bunny's coming in with some beautiful words saying, no, honey, no one ever does. We all make mistakes, and you're not alone. I made lots of mistakes in life, and I still am. But every time I make a mistake, I say to myself, oh, well, this is just today. Tomorrow we can make it better. You get to learn from mistakes, right, Bunny? Everybody's going to make a ton of mistakes in their life over and over and over and over. Absolutely, everybody does. I make mistakes all the time. We all do. It's about just learning from your mistake, and that's how you can also learn to forgive yourself. It's learning that it's okay to make mistakes. I love that. Rick says, the most beautiful thing I've ever experienced was walking out of one of the most prestigious NICUs or NICUs in the country with my son in tow, nestled in his little Tonka truck, taking his victory exit out of the NICU while saying goodbye to all the nurses and docs on the clock, waved goodbye. Knowing that both he and I beat the odds and lived to see another day. Yo, much love out to you, Riz. I'm happy you guys did too. I'm happy you're both here. That's awesome. That is a beautiful answer. My son is my reason for being the person I am today. I used to be ruthless. Sorry for the novel. Don't be sorry. I love reading your novel. And I love getting to learn more about you. That's beautiful and amazing. It's amazing. My goodness. I don't want you berries. We're all here for the love. There's lots of love in this chat. I have trouble spelling. Me too. Me too. So does uh, Lily. Our phones like to mess with us. Grant says big facts. Same goes to me. I joke and poke fun. That's how I show love. And you know that I like you. I won't give you the time of day if I don't like you. I love that, Gran. I'm all here for a good time and a good laugh, especially um, to break up, you know, just break up anything. I love that you can throw comedy in the middle of tension. I think it's great, bro. Only time can heal wounds in our hearts. 
There are so many things I have still yet to forgive either myself or others. But I try to be selfish sometimes and use everyone and everything around me to divert my attention to those until I just realize, oh hey, pain's gone. I mean, I don't know if that's healthy, bunny. Let's be honest here. I don't know if that's healthy, bunny. You guys, uh, real fact, real fact about me. Um, I am terrible, terrible about holding a grudge. Not because I hold on to a grudge. Because I don't hold a grudge worth shit. When people think that I should, like, really be mad at somebody for something or hate somebody for something. Or whatever it is. It's just gone. I don't hold anger for long. Like, a lot of times, like, I'll blow up in the moment. And that's just who I am. But then, it's just gone. I don't hold on to anger or resentment. Or any... I, I'm so bad that holding those accountable who would do me wrong in my life. And that's because... At the end of the day, like I said, I'm not going to let those people affect me. And I'm still going to show kindness and love. I, I don't care. You know, that I'm just terrible at holding a grudge for... In what I think is a good way. Not queso stream coming with a like. What's up, bro? But he says, I love you all, and hell, I don't know how else I can show my gratitude for meeting all of you. Yo, you're amazing. Just keep being you, bunny. I was sad that I couldn't come into your stream this morning. I always wake up, crack of the alarm clock coming in, crusty still in the eyes, grab over my phone. I want to have my first Siggy of the day. But I reach on to pull up bunny when I can, and you weren't there. I forgive you, though. I miss my sister. Wish I could bring her back. That's rough. I'm sorry. There's nothing anybody can do there. I'm so sorry. Riss says, nothing is taken for granted with me. Life will give you so many gifts along the way. It's up to you to recognize and appreciate them. Hell yes. That's the big one right there. Life will give you so many gifts along the way. Recognize and appreciate them. Um, sometimes it's not in the moment. Make sure to take time to reflect back and just appreciate what you've been given. Every single day is an opportunity to learn. Every single day is an opportunity to love. Take advantage, guys. Stop to get coffee and Siggy's on my way to the house now. I have you guys on my speakers. Yo, Lily, we love you. Grant said he agrees. He's happy that he's met all of us. Yo, Grant, I'm happy I met you too, Bunny. You guys are awesome. Grant said, Ceramic, are we the same person? I'm the same way. I blow up like a volcano, then it's gone. If I hold a grudge, you have really messed up. Yo, I can't think of a single grudge I'm holding. Fuck yeah, bro. It's just, I mean... You blow up, you throw your emotions out, you express it right away. There's no need to hold it down and bottle it down. You just... And then you're over it, bro. Then you're over it. Tell somebody to their face why they fucked up. And you either work it out or you don't. And if you don't, you go your separate fucking ways. And if you work it out, great. But I said, I'm so sorry, honey. To be honest, I have a difficult time giving advice when it comes to family. I wish I could tell you more of my story. Bunny, your love too, man. Um, especially when it comes to a loss of a loved one, it's so hard for anybody to give real sound advice other than, you know, the same thing everybody says. The old cheesy, hang in there. It's, it'll get easier. You've got this. We love you. I mean, And while the, all those things are true, it's really hard for anybody to give anything more than that because it's a hard thing to deal with. And really, at the end of the day, None of us know if there's a better answer. It's rough. It's a rough thing to go through, a loss of a loved one, for sure. Last dragon. With, With that, though, that doesn't mean I hate you or like you. But you're nothing to me. Yeah, dude, I just don't think about you anymore. You're right about that. Yeah, I just 
don't think about you. You're, you're you know, it's not like um, I'm gonna spend time hating you even after this or anything like that. It's just I'd never think about you anymore after that. Yeah, it's not intentional or unintentional either. It's not like I go out of my way to not think about you. It's just I don't. Mike, coming in. What's up, Mike? Good morning to you, sir. I appreciate you coming in. How you doing this morning, Mike? Mike says, good morning, beautiful bunny. A partnership. And then all the rest of the chat. Patient. Yo, thanks for coming in with positive attitudes, Mike. I appreciate you, bro. Can't stay for long at work. Yo, we got a couple people at work in here. Haley's driving to a workplace now. We got Grant at work. Mike's over here trying to get that paper. Everybody's chasing it. I love that. I love that. Lady Ram says, mostly because we don't know if we are currently in purgatory. Conspiracy theories. <laughs> uh, Lady Ramick, I love you. She does love her conspiracy theories chat. Lady Ramick does. Chat, I have to go get a Siggy right here. Chat, what's a big conspiracy theory that you honestly believe in that maybe most people don't? What's a big conspiracy theory? Is there Lizard Man? <coughs> Are the Men in Black real? Um, God, what's another one? What's, what's an honest conspiracy theory that you think has a high chance that this could be real? I think the Men in Black exist, chat. Have a great stream. Yo, Mike, thanks so much for coming in. I appreciate you, bro. You have an amazing day at work. I hope your day is successful. I hope your day is prosperous. And I hope that you are amazing. And have a great day, bro. I don't know why I lost my tongue in there. It got slipped up in my mouth. But I hope you are amazing, bro. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much, Mike. Peace and love, bro. Mike saying good morning, Risk. Good morning, Lady Ramek. I think we can all agree now that you, Ceramic, are great. Oh, I didn't get to see the... Oh, right there. I think we can all agree now that you, Ceramic, are a great therapy for all of us who come in to just vibe and be comfortable enough to discuss things on our mind. We're just to hide here. You're a beautiful soul. Yo, Riz, thank you so much. You're absolutely amazing. And, you know, I think you're right. I really enjoy um, helping uplift others. I enjoy helping other people find positivity throughout challenge. I hope to help everybody find that there's, um, when they face adversity, to tackle that thing headstrong, to tackle that thing with a great mindset, and that to remember there's always value in that. So even when you're going through hardship, there's value there because you get to learn something. But it says, you're right, holding a grudge is not the best thing to do. I mean, the pain I have kept in me for so long um, are all family matters. It would be a lot easier to let go of the pain if they're just friends. I mean, depending on the pain, Bunny, in my opinion, um, family's more than just blood, so they might be blood to you, but that doesn't make them family. Especially if they put you through any sort of hardship. Remember that it's taught you to be a better person. Remember it's taught you to be better for your daughter. That your daughter's going to have an amazing childhood. And grow up to be such a beautiful person. And. So what you've had to endure. Helped you learn. And helped sculpt you to be the beautiful soul that you are. So that way you get to share that with others. Share that with us today. Share that with your children. Share that with those that are around you every single day. Share that with your husband. It's got to help mold you. And it's a terrible experience. And I'm sure that whatever it is that nobody should have had to go through that. Just remember to find what you can find from it. And that's going to help you release that. It's going to help you not hold on to that grudge. You don't ever have to forgive them. You don't have to. Um, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying to forget it either. I'm just saying don't hold on it with resentment and hatred because that's a dark thing to hold on to for too long, in my opinion. It's a crazy, crazy thing. 
All right, sorry for the rant there, guys. Lady Ram says, we are the aliens. That, that's your thing? Have a great stream, Mike says. Yo, thanks so much, bro. The Simpsons. Yo, The Simpsons is a crazy conspiracy theory. They have predicted a lot of things, and it's getting uncanny at this point. Morgan Willis coming up with the love on the stream and also says summoned by Stuart Braybrook. Yo, Stuart's the GOAT. Morgan, thanks so much for coming in. Much love. Bruce said good morning, Mike. Hi, sir. Hi, Morgan. Yes, Riss. Stuart's still hiding in chat. Yo, Stuart, I love you, bro. Said my beautiful friend. 100% golden. I'm sorry, everyone, to cry. Yo, cry it out, Jessica. You're good. Don't be. Cry and pick yourself up again. Yes, cry and then pick yourself up again. You may fail multiple times, and it's okay. That's right. Learn from it. Push yourself. Be better. Get better. You are better. You are amazing. You are strong. You are powerful, and you're good enough. Let it out, Jessica. It's better to release the emotions. I'm behind an 18-wheeler. The truck company is called... Big head truck. <laughs> that was out of left field and I'm here for it. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, that was out of left field from like all the uh the uh vibes that we were in and then to read that, oh my gosh. It was amazing. How do you make a perfectly seasoned meal? Make it with... Eh. Stuart said, blood is thicker than water, but water runs deep. That's helped me make the best relationships. Fuck yes. Grant said, um, she's not truly gone. No, I logged out of the game. She's not truly gone. There's always a huge piece of her with you. All the love, memories, and lessons you learn together. Sorry, chat's going off. Let me hold it here so that way it doesn't go away. All the lessons you've learned together and all the pieces of her that will be with you forever. Remember, we are all energy, and energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be changed. Memories are just imprints of energy we share with each other. So she will always be around you in the energy of the universe. No one is truly gone their life force just changes. Yo, even to resound on that with science, um, I, I, I love the um, spiritual aspect you're bringing here, Gran. On science as well, there's only so many atoms in the entirety of the universe and that can never change. So when something's created, it's created out of the same amount of atoms. Atoms are finite. And that it never goes up or down, the amount of atoms in the universe. So the atoms that existed within your loved ones still exist out there spread to the universe when they're gone. It can never change. It's a finite amount. So that person is literally always in the world. Bruce said ceramic is the golden goose of streamers laying golden eggs for everybody. And we all know how much eggs are these days. <laughs> eggs do be getting expensive. Yo chat. I'm going to be right back for a second. Need my third cup of coffee. We're going in for the last final stretch of the stream here. I'm going to I'm going to be right back. Conspiracy theories. I'm curious about the apocalypse. Yo, aren't we all? Is it going to come? Is it going to come? Is it real? Will we have a zombie apocalypse chat? Stuart says, hey, Riz. I only recently discovered this gentleman. But he's a great man. Yo, Stuart, you're a great man. Thank you so much. Guys, I'll be right back. I love you all.
Yeah, you know what I need to get? I need to get one of those single cup coffee makers. And I need to get it right here next to the stands. So that way in my morning streams, so I don't gotta run away two to three times. You'll get some coffee. As I go through it. Alright, let me scroll back up. I want to make sure I'm catching up to all your comments. I knew you'd giggle at that comment. <laughs> at the egg one, it was a pretty good one. Eggs are a crazy price though, it's nutties. Stuart says to Jessica, I'm glad to see you around. And everyone's streaming. It's good to see you making loads of friends. Oh yeah, there's gonna be lots of streamers you're gonna see in here, Jessica, and they're all gonna have they're all beautiful souls, really truly. Fadi says, I'm back. Yo, welcome back, Fadi. We've had a great stream thus far. I appreciate you coming back and our 30 minute countdown. Thank you for flexing your noti. Been following for 21 days, bro. Bro, all you guys are gonna be able to say, I've been there since the beginning. We're going on getting close to hundred days. You've been there for a quarter of the time, Fadi. Conspiracy theory. Aliens are the government and have been for a while. We have known about them for a long time. I don't know about that one. Aliens are the government. I love it. Riz says, I'm in agreement with you on that. He's a brainiac therapist. Dry humor. Dry humor sh for sure. I love that you've caught that. Comedian family man. We all get to enjoy. Oh, guys. Guys, guys, guys. I appreciate all the compliments. I do, I do, I do. I can't stress enough. Um, I believe that streaming, you guys are of more importance. I think it's really important to build a strong community of those that express your same values you're going to naturally attract those that have the same values as you you're going to naturally attract those that have the same enjoyment as you and so all of you guys that come in here and hang out all the time you are all beautiful amazing people it's really the community that makes this great so i appreciate all of you guys for coming in thank you so much you guys come in you share your experiences, you share your life, you share your joy, you share your positivity, you share um, lessons with everybody. And so that's the amazing thing that we've been able to create here. That's all of us. I appreciate you guys. Fadi said, where is everyone? We're here, Fadi. I was just... uh. Reamko coming with a like on the stream while I was out getting my coffee. I said taking a nap. Yo, good morning, good night for you, I suppose. Reamko, re, how we doing, shrimp? Good morning, sir. Thanks so much for coming in. I said we're here. Fadi says Haley, what's goody? What? You're following. I know you are, bunny. Uh, Facebook be weird on some sort of on some gaming accounts. And it doesn't let some people flex their following. It doesn't let some people flex their following. It does that for me like when I'm in streams too. I try to flex my followers on people and says, you're not following. Does that to Grampy. Does that to me on Lady Ram Extreme and I've been following her since day one. Uh, but because of that, I love to go to Lady Ram Extreme and flex my followers and it says, you're not following and watch everybody go, what? Your man's not following you? It's my favorite. Enjoy your nap. Shrimp with the bars. Yo, Shrimp, the next time I need your stream when you're feeling better, I want to hear the song for Riss, bro. Like, I keep hearing about it. I keep hearing about it, bro, and I want it. Lily coming in. Thank you so much for the double, Haley. Lily coming in with the like and the share. I appreciate it. Are you serious, Facebook? <laughs> Facebook be crazy. You're the GOAT, Ramek. Thank you. Haley, for six days? Doesn't it feel so much longer than that? I'm driving, guys. Sorry for not replying. No, you shouldn't be sorry. Drive. Drive, 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 drive. Concentrate on that. Oh my god, went off at the bars. He had it in Lady Ram Extreme last night. Lady Ram said, I'm back. Flex not follow. <laughs> See? But then it lets Lily on FB do it. 
Lady Ram not following? Get her, chat. It's so funny. It's been at least two weeks. Well, last week and this week, maybe. It does feel like it, though, doesn't it? It's crazy. My beautiful Juju coming in with the devil. Flex in the follower see 93 days. Thank you. What the hell, Haley? Six days? Yo, it's okay. I appreciate her for all six. Oh, lady, shame on you. No, she's following me. It just does something weird with gamer accounts. <laughs> Although, we will say Lady Ramk hasn't been following me since day one. We're at 94 days today, chat. Today is my 94th day of streaming. Sheesh, 93 days. Yeah, man, I'm a fresh streamer here. We're fresh at it, baby. We're 94 days deep. She followed me on day two, guys. Day two. <laughs> Lily, now you can flex the I'm new here comment. Fuck yeah, Lily. Flex the I'm new here. Flex it on him. We'll tell you that we love you and we appreciate you coming in and a welcome to Channel Ramek. And to let us know how your day is going and what you have planned. And I'm really excited to have you here, Lily. Thank you so much for coming in. You're going to find amazing people here that are really excited to chat with you to fill your day with positivity, motivation, and enjoyment. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for becoming a new follower, Lily. <laughs> uh, but I do mean that. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. Everybody give her hugs. Welcome. It's going to be a good day, guys. Yeah, I woke up so tired today. Um, today was one of those days I was sleeping so good. I was sleeping so sound. I was sleeping so heavily. Then when Lady Ramek woke me up, I fell right back to sleep. And then I still woke up just tired because I was sleeping so deep. Who's Lily? It's Haley. It's the beautiful Haley. But I see what you're doing there. <laughs> uh... You guys are so funny. My golly gosh. Yo, I'm so excited when I get to 100 of these. I know you guys don't give a shit about my game. And that's okay. But I'm so excited. Or I said 100, I meant 1,000. We're getting there. Lady Ram with the love of the coffee. You know what I'm telling you guys? I need to just get a little coffee maker here. Like the single cup sized ones. Need to get it right next to me. I was at my grandmother's house to check on her. Yo, I remember you go, how is your grandma doing, bro? I love that. Family's important. I think it's amazing that you're going to make and create and spend those memories with her. That's going to be something that you guys both remember and cherish for a long time, bro. Yo, Spazulosity said, I love me some RS3. It's so damn hard to get back up after years. Yo, I've just started within the, like the last 10, 11 days, and I can agree. It's definitely hard because um, you basically have to relearn everything with a character that has no tutorial anymore. But you just get it. You get in the grind, bro. It's an amazing game. I appreciate you. See, somebody appreciates it, guys. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I love it. Hey, says, F that game. I'm here for the comments and the Ramit conversations. <laughs> I love it. Shrimp says hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Shrimp out here being ass this morning. I'm here for it every step of the way, bro. You're goaded. Uh, she is good. Riz says, got to go play with my little bro last night. Body is sweaty. Damn. Yeah, maxed out like a year ago after 14 years on that account, and I haven't played yet. Yo, go start an Iron Man. If you maxed a character out, go start an Iron Man. I've been playing for a little over 14 years on and off, and as you can see, 
Well, maybe you can't see it on a cell phone, but I'm not even close to max. You kind of play it on and off. But I'm really getting back in it, bro. It's an amazing game. But Spaz, let me drop you a follow, bro. What games do you normally play, bro? You said, oh my god, Lily. Sometimes you really get me rolling. Yo, me too, dude. Well, it was nice to me meet you, my friends. <laughs> he was still sweating at 137 ping. Body, we gotta play together sometime, bro. Glad I make you laugh. Oh my gosh. Friend? But I just met you now. <laughs> That's a good point. Maybe I will. Yo, Pacemaker coming in with the like. What's up, Pacemaker? Chat if you watch this before the stream, after the stream. I appreciate you coming in, hanging out, and vibing with us. Um, remember to drop that like. Drop that follow for more uh, great content. For more positively approaches to your day. I appreciate y'all. Hey, this is, hey, Ramek, did you make your bed this morning? You know what? I did not make my bed this morning. I made it yesterday, and I'm not going to lie. I didn't feel the difference in the day. And, you know, that's because I treat every day with positivity. I treat every day with energy, and I treat every day searching for success. And so I push myself every day. So making the bed didn't make much of a difference. Although Lady Ramek did say that she loved that the bed was made right when she jumped in. So I might go make it before I go to work just to make her happy. I'm just changed my profile. What? He says, I'm just a weirdo. We love weirdos. We love dorks here. We love slapping around big floppy dorks. Anybody here was it earlier in the stream, they'll get that. But we love flapping around big old dorks here. Usually a variety, but COD seems to be working well for me lately, and Grand Theft Auto. Okay, dude. Dude, I still can't believe Grand Theft Auto is still going as big as it is after all these years, but hell yeah. Pacemaker says, have a great stream. Popped in while I'm at work. Yo, thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to come in here, Pacemaker. I appreciate you, bro. You're amazing. Funny said, yeah, we can play. Fuck yeah, bro. Let's set it up. Ram Kiss says he totally gives credit for this idea to someone else, not me. So I, were you the one who, uh, I swear that it was Grampy that came and said make your bed every day. And he's the one who started the conversation. Did I miss something, Shrimp? If, it, if you're the one who said it, I'm so sorry, bro. If you're the one who started that conversation, I'm so sorry, bro. Don't forget to drop your broken followage. <laughs> you and Fadi's play styles are similar. You two would do well in Fortnite. Are you an aggressive player, Foddy? Do you run in there? You hammer in their faces, whisper sweet nothings in their ear, and then smash them down quick? I mean that in whatever way you want it to be meant. Weird isn't boring. Fuck yes, bro. That's right, fuck that bed. That's right, fuck on that bed. What? Lady with the blush. Dorks for life. <laughs> uh, who's playing Grand Theft Auto? Spazilosity is. Spazilosity is. Ooh, Spazilosity has a trimmed cape. Yo, Lady Ramek. You're awesome! Don't rub it in my face. Have you ever played The Forest? I'm trying to gather a group of streamers to do a playthrough together. I've never played The Forest. Yo, Marvel Bob! Coming with a like. Yo, Bob, what's good? What's happening, bro? Thanks so much for stopping in. I appreciate you. I love you, bro. Bum, bum, bum. Riss, write me a song. Right fucking now, Riss. Grampy's gonna get so jelly. He said, Fadi, join my lobby when you see me on. Fadi, we all want to play, bro. You know what's weird? I always dream about uh, tsunami. Like 95% of my dreams are about water 
or drowning. Yo, I'm not a psychologist, but that's got to be something psychological. That's got to mean something. I wonder if we can Google search what constantly dreaming about water means. So a quick Google search says that consistently dreaming about a tsunami. I can't believe can be this. Can be accompanied by a sense of feeling overcome and may occur when you're feeling under a great pressure in your walking life. Um, it can also apply your emotional capacity on how you are going to deal with a particular emotional situation in the near future. Are you carrying lots of emotion? Yo, Riss! Sending the 100 stars for just being you! Oh my gosh, Riss, you're amazing! Thank you so much! That's very kind of you. You don't have to do that. I mean, Grand Theft Auto role-playing. Role-playing, bro. You coming in as the sheriff? You coming in as the sheriff, bro? Over here in Los Santos, we get shit done! <laughs> I can't believe this! I'm a thalassophic, by the way. I don't know what that means. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not smart enough. Okay, guys, I have to clean now. Holy shit, I'm about to run out of comments, guys. Let me just take a seat here. Oh, hi, I didn't expect to bump into you. <laughs> Spaz, are you a cop or a gangster? <laughs> no, you don't. There's always later. We're sending another hundred because I always have a place to wheel into. I can't oh my believe gosh, Riss, this. Stop it. You're going to make me blush over here. Shrimp says, no, you don't. There's always later. Hey, with the bubble boy. I love you more, buddy. Yo, bro, you're amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Shrimp, the seat's taken, sir. <laughs> it says, I'm getting paid for it. I gotta work, baby. Bubble boy in the house. Everybody saying hi to Marble Bob. I'm shy when I talk with people. What? We'll break you out of that shell, Fadi. We'll be like long lost friends. Shrimp with the legend. Yo, Riss is a legend, man. Riss is an amazing person. Sunset. Gosh, Riss with another star. Riss. I can't believe this. I also this. enjoy your tri -hum dry humor, which is hard to find and appreciate. Oh my goodness. Riss, stop it. Oh my, Riss. <laughs> oh my goodness. For my cleaning business, I gotta do it. Hey, with the let's go, Riss. No, let's Riss. You're making me blush. And I missed a 50 because you're a peace of mind for many. Oh my goodness. Riss, you're amazing. Both a sergeant in police and the city's lead gun smuggler and a crafter on my other character. Is that the same character? You're a sergeant for the police while being the city's lead gun smuggler? Oh my, oh my gosh, Riss, stop it! Because Ramex are goaded, she says, with another hundo. Riss, I'm, I'm seriously blushing over here. Oh my gosh. Thank you. You're I can't believe this. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Shrimp, I know how she can come practice on if you need to freshen up them house cleaning skills. <laughs> Uh, or it just means you like it wet. Marble Bob with tsunami comments. Holy crap, I'm struggling to keep up here. Fadi, with I'm a new follower for you. Yo, you're gonna like it over at Marble Bob's, Fadi. Fadi, he's amazing. Hey, he says, I'd come clean for you, shrimp. <laughs> uh. Yo, Tomb Raider's a great game. Fadi jumping out to go play Tomb Raider. 
Oh my goodness. I love clean. It's therapeutic. Ah, uh, that makes one of us, Haley. Yo, oh my gosh, Riz, I'm starting I to keep up. I can't believe this. For being a safe place, just vent and be positive while being impartial. Riz, thank you. Holy crap. Riz, all the love, all the warmth. Oh my gosh, you are an absolute amazing. Holy crap, thank you so much. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do it at all. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're always going to be that here. I d you definitely don't have to. Oh my gosh. My mom with Fadi saying, I know you are, and I appreciate you. Said, I'm sending you my address. <laughs> Let's get this house clean. Uh, uh, Riss is the best person, isn't she? He said, I like it wet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh. I'll be on the lookout for that, Addy. Now I'm realizing I should have charged Riss for the song I wrote her. <laughs> I'm realizing that she's loaded. <laughs> Bro. Uh. Let me show you some kind words, he says. Fuck yes, lady with the paper. <laughs> my gosh. Uh, my goodness. Oh, I guess that's because you always wanted to fill me with bubbles. Oh, with the like your wet comment. Oh my goodness, Bob. <laughs> uh, we're almost there. He said, "Always, my friend. I'd love to fill you with bubbles." Whoa. You want to have a rap battle? <laughs> my goodness. My goodness. Y'all are being funny in here. Y'all blowing this up quick. You're welcome, brother. All love. Riz, thank you so much again. You really, really, really didn't have to do that. Thank you. Jessica said, I'm always here if you need me. Fuck yeah, Jessica. Body with, with big words. This one I want to read. I want to read all the way, guys. Fadi says, I want to tell you that you can achieve anything you want in life if you have dreams or goals um, that many people are afraid to fail. But if you believe in yourself and work hard, no one can stop you. And I believe in it. Don't forget that. You are the one who can achieve anything because you're awesome and you're strong and you can do anything yo Fadi, much love on that comment thank you so much that's important words for everybody that's something that i try to teach here every day is success is an outcome that you make success is an outcome that you have to tackle head on success is something that you have to dream of you have to be not afraid to fail you have to go in you have to tackle it and you're gonna fall you're gonna fall so many times you're gonna be told no so many times you're gonna hit walls so many times but those who succeed Understand that they must persevere. They push through all challenges, through all walks of life, through all adversity, and they continue to do the right thing on every step. And those are the ones who make it to the top. Those are the ones who see their dreams come true. Those are the ones who are successful. And it doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen today. It doesn't happen tomorrow. And what success is is different for so many people. Whether success is finding a relationship, finding a great job, um, putting food on the table for your family. Success is different to so many so go out there and chase it and make your dreams. Body, thank you so much. I love you, bro. Shrimp said, What you all don't know is me and Marble Bob have had rap battles in Discord. Yo, and Shrimp and fucking Discord. We need to get a goddamn rap battle co-stream coming up. I'm hearing it. We need a rap battle co-stream. Drop a beat and we'll let it flow. I can't do it. <laughs> Get it. Bob said, I ain't got time for no rap battle. Working hard with that professional babble. Shrimp take gaming always throwing shade. Once I've done, you'll be buried by a spade. Oh, shit. I thought he was just in here. He's throwing it. Woo. He said, no beats. Do the shit acapella. Free flow. Live bubble. Oh, my gosh. 
Oh well, my, you guys are just popping off, man. All I can do is keep up by reading. You're such an in the closet Eminem. <laughs> uh, so I need a B. Oh. <laughs> I've got three kids. I'm not that nice. Oh my goodness. Me too. I know you're tortured. Yo, me too, guys. Why, why do we all got three kids? Why the number three? Isn't that weird? Why we all got three kids? Fadi says, anytime. I'm always going to show you and your chat kind words because you're the best person. Bro. That's beautiful. You're awesome. Matt Jonah coming up with a like on the stream. How we doing today, bro? It says, okay, guys, bye. Love you all. Yo, Haley, we're going to be dropping out here in like the next 15. I appreciate you hanging out with us. Go get that bread today. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope your job is super successful, just like I've told everybody else. Go out there and chase it. You got it. Chris said, I only got two, but yeah, that's enough for me. I feel you. That's what we should have said, Lady Ram. You know, two's enough. I'll see you all tonight. Haley, have a, have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful day. Go hit it. These guys are pointed, I swear it. Alright guys, let's go in for this last lump. And that'll be the day. While we get going, is there anybody that we know that we want to um that we want to raid? Or is there gonna be anybody here in chat now that's gonna be live in like the next 10 to 15? Haley, she's such a sweetheart. She's a beautiful soul for sure. She's an amazing person. You two, everybody, have a great day. Oh, Haley, I thought you were gone. Now you're hearing our kind words about you. You're amazing, Haley. We'll miss you, Haley, for sure. For sure. Guys, while we're heading in to get this last thing, does anybody know of any ideas on who they want to raid today? I'd love to be able to follow your guys' lead on it. If not, then we can talk about it, pick someone at the time. Um, or if any of you guys are going to be live at the time and... Would love for this chat to continue to come hang out with you. Acapella. Let me tell you, fella. These bars are hella watch Twilight. Y'all thoughts on Bella? <laughs> Shrimp, he's showing you up, bro. Let him use up all his bars now, he says. <laughs> Casper 6 Gaming is live. All right, let's go to Casper right after this, guys. I see you've been practicing. You guys, the sweetest. You get what you put out for sure, Haley. Shows that you're amazing. Right after we fill this, guys, we're going to go to Casper Six Gaming. I'm going to tag that to comment, buddy. Or pin it. Pinned. There, that's pinned instead of the comment of the day now. Or instead of the uh, fact of the day, we've all had a chance to read that and get a little bit of knowledge in our life. Whoa, why didn't it pin? Try this again. It says it's pinned. Oh, there it is. It just didn't update right away. Facebook. Have a good one, everyone. Maybe I'll catch you later. Yo, Marble Bob, thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate your laughter while you were here. You're awesome, bro. I know him. I'll show him kind words before. Aw, that's so nice. Chat, it's been a beautiful, beautiful stream. You all have been absolutely amazing today. I appreciate it. Oh my goodness. Have a good one. Yo, bro, I hope your day is amazing today. He's a good person. Fuck yeah. I'm excited for it. I'm excited to give him that raid and jump in his chat for a little bit before I go to work. I always make sure I leave myself a little bit of time. So whoever I raid, I can sit there and vibe out for at least a little bit, give them that viewage, and help support them. It's amazing. Oh, I see you, shrimp, throwing in them comments after Bob said he's out. He said, dude said he's going to bury me with the shovel, but after I'm done, hell, they'll be hiding in the shade after today for my bars out. I'll get paid, and Marble Bob over here can't even get laid. Everyone hang out and wait for the raid. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> bro. Y'all pretty good at this. Y'all pretty good at writing those bars. 
<laughs> Let's go quick, guys. Oh my goodness. It's awesome. Shrimp, are you gonna are you feeling better today, bro? Are you gonna stream tonight? Are you gonna stream tonight, shrimp? Drop it like it's hot, daddy. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys with your rap. Guys, I have like the nerdiest voice alive. I'm not even gonna lie. So like me reading these like raps have got to be hilarious. It's got to be too funny. Got no internet still waiting on the tech. Ah, oh, man, bro. I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. Dang. Bum, 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 bum. Y'all are amazing. Especially when you say shovel and not spades. Sounds a little off. <laughs> uh, I'll not be the rapper, but I'll definitely be the hype man. Pretty good. Yeah, good call out, Bonnie. We asked two questions there, Shrimp. Are you feeling better today, though? How are you feeling? How are your spirits? Is everything on the up and up? Oh. Let's get it going. Sort of. Getting better at least. That's a step. That's a step. These things take time sometimes. I love that shrimp. Keep hitting it. Drink your water. Get it down, bud. Don't forget to eat. I love to hear that, though. I love to hear that everything's on the upswing now. I was going to say yes, but I'm talking from the toilet. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy shit. Bum, 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 bum. Well, I'm got the full inventory. It's great to hear that you're getting better. Yes, eat and rest well. That's, that, that's a good call out too, bunny. Make sure you're staying up on those Zs. Sleeping is healing. Sleeping is healing. For sure. Hmm. We got a busy day ahead of me, guys. I'm excited for it. Laugh a lot of crazy shit, indeed. Lady Ramick showing that she's stuck at the work, hitting that grind, being successful for the day. Da, da, da. Shovel and spade are different things, guys. They are a different thing. A spade is for gardening. It's got a much narrower base what's what the fuck is the shovel piece called i don't know i don't know all the technical terms but yes they are different drinking more water better snacks and healthier dinners going to the doctors this week to work on ongoing issues getting there slowly and you will get there bro that's awesome i love the you're working on you i love that you're working on Getting healthy, remaining positive, you're awesome, dude. I hope that everything works out in your favor, and more importantly, because I know that it will work out in your favor, I hope it works out for you quickly. Hope you have a speedy recovery and whatever your ongoing issues are, if there's any recovery in sight. If not, then I hope that you find ways to cope and be an amazing. A shovel with a spade, and you wouldn't spade a shovel or something. <laughs> or something, he says. Uh, we're all proud of you, Shrimp Daddy. Fuck yeah. Red Bull gives you wing. Fuck that Red Bull. This shit's so bad for you. 
How does one spade? We can do it in spades, isn't that a phrase? We can do something in spades? We are all proud of you, shrimp. Bum, bum, bum. Let's get it, let's get it. Final countdown. How does one spade? I think that's kind of the point. You uh, shovel with a spade, but you don't spade with a shovel. You don't spade with anything. I said you shovel with the shovel. You fucking dig with the spade. Oh shit. Y'all see how close that was? Y'all see how fucking close that was? Holy shit. That was rude. I don't know, but it sounds ace. Oh my goodness. That was rude. Bum, bum, bum. No, you dog with the shovel and use a spade for like, I don't know, I never use one. Well, I guess I have to, or I guess I have, but just for like one very specific task. Ace of spades, get it? Oh, yep. I do. I get it now. <laughs> That's the most dad joke I've heard all day. <laughs> Sheesh. We're getting there. Oh my gosh, food. That was amazing. I'm a dad, so I'm good with that. Fuck yeah, bro. Yes! We're down to like three dragons left, chap. Maybe four if we absolutely get nothing from them. I'm gonna call it like three most. Is where I'm gonna guess it. Bum, bum, bum. We're growing it. We're growing it. Oh my gosh. I'm excited to get up and stretch after this. Like, give a good old stretch. Ugh. Bob, what do you got planned for your day, bro? What do you got planned for your day? Bada. Me? Yeah, you, bro. Yeah, you, bro. What do you, what do you got planned for the day? I want to see you stretch. Oh my goodness, lady. Oh my goodness, lady. He thinks he sounds ace, but my bars hit you in the face like mace. Slow down, Bob. It's not a race. You got to keep up with my pace. If you don't, I'll lay you on waste. Lay you. Lay you to waste. God damn it. Guys, I'm so white and fucking nerdy. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Making me read these is hilarious. I think it's the best part of it. Mm. All right, guys, that's it. I'm going to send you guys over to Casper six gaming. 
white and nerdy. Fuck yeah, bro. Yo, thank you guys so much for hanging out today. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, we're going to be back on for the next one here. I think I'm going to be getting on tonight. Maybe we'll talk Lady into stopping her game for a little bit and playing a game of Fortnite. We'll see. She may tell me, fuck no, I'm playing my new video game. But we'll find out. Um, until then, I'm going to see you all in the next one. Peace and love, everybody. I'm going to try to get you over to Casper6 Gaming. Thank you for the great stream, Ceramic. Yo, we love you too, Bunny. Thank you. You got to search. Casper. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Peace and love. Go show Casper some love.